Ladies and gentlemen, I've come to make an announcement. I have finally sat down, labbed out every single episode of this series, so I can finally tell you who we're playing next. And right now we're playing probably the most iconic duo in Netherrealm. Besides Scorpion and Sub-Zero, th th these two are pretty much it. Let's get some, let's get some Outworld hype in here. I know people do not like the Montaro cameo, but like, come on, we gotta use him. Alright, and if you recall my very first MK1 video that I posted on this channel, I'm pretty sure that Melina was the first character I fought against, and oh my god, what is happening? This character's like fucking crack cocaine and I love it. Dude, I'm not even, I don't even know what inputs I'm doing, but she's just doing everything for me. Alright, let's do a tele- Okay, well, that's not the teleport move. Montaro, take me there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Could you imagine if he just fucking teleported me into that move? Like he almost did? I mean, I know that was a skill issue, but I think- I think it's very fitting that people hate Montaro after that was shown. As I was saying earlier, not only have I finally labbed out what all the episodes are going to be, I've also given them all cool little titles. I don't know, I thought some of them were clever, some of them are not, but you know. I'm happy with them nonetheless because I actually have a game plan for this series, which is much needed improvement when I ended every video so far saying, uh, I don't know who will play next time, but it's sure one of the groups. I forget what this fatality is, so I'm ex never mind. No, I don't. I remember exactly what this is. You know, it was, it was nice to react to nonetheless. Also, there is a specific duo that's very iconic that I'm trying to save for the last episode of the series. So if you want to take a guess at it in the comments, feel free, man. The engagement will be very kindly appreciated, and also, uh, I want to see who can actually guess who the combo pairing is, especially since we're a couple episodes in at this point and a couple of them have been eliminated. A couple of the presumable combinations have been eliminated, so, you know. It's an iconic combo for a reason. Arguably everybody's favorite combo in this game, so we'll see, but just wanted to throw that little, that little anticipation at the wall. Also, my Melina is kind of nasty, though. I think this is just might be a bit of an easy character to play, and I was just a little stupid the first time I tried it. But she's kind of going nuts right now. And yes, Montaro, my valiant steed, trot forth. We have so much to do still. Oh, he's using that skin of Johnny Cage. I mean, I've never used that skin personally, but I do own it. So it is a possibility. Maybe in the self- maybe in the dedicated Johnny Cage video, I will use this skin. Because I'm sure he'll pop up on the channel at some point as actual Johnny Cage in other videos. Okay, that was- <laughs> that was a little bit of a baller move, I can't lie. And why- okay. So, l let's just question my thought process there, because apparently- apparently I needed to question it. He used a move that absolutely deflected my projectiles. Like, 100% that's what happened when he threw Montaro out. So I threw Montaro out the same way, knowing that was the same way, when Johnny Cage has no projectiles in this game. Just fucking immaculate logic, as always, on this channel. You're dead. Never mind, he outplayed me yet again. But he can't do it twice. Dude, Melina is just flying through this tower. Like, I feel like I just turned on the camera and... You know, we're already halfway there. I gotta say, I'm enjoying my time with this character. Granted, I think this game is just... Every character, to a degree, is fun in this game. But I'm really enjoying my time with Melina. And I don't know how I struggled so much with her in the story mode. Because everything seems to just make sense right now. Uh, whenever Reptile's not hitting me, at least. Okay, uh... I'm about to, I'm so close to using Panic Option. Uh, yep, we're using Panic Option. It, well, you know, it gave some percent, uh... Okay, we're good. But see guys, there was no reason to worry at all as if I would ever lose to a CPU in one of these videos. How absurd of thought. Oh, nice combo. Was it intentional? No, but maybe I should just start pretending they are. Oh, is this a brutality? No. 
I just felt like that move would be a brutality, you know? Also, I think this is a good time to note, note this, but uh, I have not seen either Katana or Melina's endings in this game, so I'm really excited for that one. This is one of those exciting episodes, not one of those I guess I kind of have to episodes, and you know, we love to see those. I gotta keep it real though, one of the characters that I have seen early, one of I have to keep it real though, one of the characters in the finale, I have seen their ending already. Or at least the, the episode I want to be the finale. If it's not the finale, I will note that the episode that I wanted to be the finale. So don't worry about that, but yeah, I've seen that one of the characters' endings, but I've not seen the other, and I'll make sure to steer clear of any spoilers of that ending. Because it's important for me to react to that one at least. And I mean, hey, we started this series with endings that we've already seen back to back to back to back. I mean, would it be right to end the video, or would it be right to end the series without having at least one ending that we've already seen? Go get him, boy. Good dog. How can you tell if they taste weak? That's my question. And I don't know, man. He's kind of bringing the fight a little bit. I wouldn't trash talk the final boss so much because look what you did, dude. I didn't even do anything and Melina just pissed him off. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, he tastes real weak, Melina. He tastes really weak. Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> that's just that's just such a funny grab animation to me. Anyways, the controller, yet again, it's on the chair. What ending? What 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 do we got to say for ourselves? Melina, what is your story? Speaking from his heart, he moved me. I agreed to visit his colony and see how his people live. I think this is in Baraka's ending as well. Atrocious. Yeah, I think this is in his ending. Oh, so she's so she's like actually showing it. But with the help of Katana and Tonya, I emerged from it a stronger empress than ever. My honesty. Oh, that's deception clothing, I think, right? One over my remaining. I think so. What a nice ending. So I don't remember if Melina revealing she had Tarkat was in Baraka's ending. I think it might have been. Because that sounds familiar. And so, I mean, that was very intertwined with Baraka's ending, so... I can't really say it was my favorite. But... Because, like, just not much new information was given. But I still liked it nonetheless. I think it was a very good way to further Melina's character. Um, I think it was a very good way to kind of show the difference in leadership and her ruling. And, and I know that it's like shown already, and I know it's, yeah, I know it's shown already, but I think it's just expanding on that, which is always a good thing in a story. Anyways, it's the other sister now. And if we're going to use Katana, we, we got to use Goro. What correlation do they have? Well, they're both from Outworld, and uh, he's the other guy that's not Mentaro. I'm now real realizing I probably should have given Katana Montaro because, you know, she's the second heir. Prince Goro's like the main man. But do you know what? It, we're too far past to dwell on those mistakes. We just gotta focus on the now. And the now is having everybody's favorite character in MK, uh, Sometimes, occasionally. Actually, I really don't know the fan reception of Katana. I get it. Yeah, I'll see myself out. I actually don't know the reception Katana gets, though. 
I, I know that she is liked, at least by casual fans. I, I don't know, I don't think, I don't know how many people love Katana, like, Katana's their favorite character. I know a lot of people fucking love Melina, which is scary. Not not liking Melina. I'm I'm personally a Melina person myself. It's just the lengths that people have gone for Melina is a little shocking. But no, I don't know the fan reception for Katana. Maybe we'll just have to take her out of a game and see if that somebody gets stocks for it. Actually, on second thought, that's probably a really bad idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we sure showed him. And I am, I'm gonna be honest, I think that might have been my first time ever playing Katana. Just in general. I mean, I can't say for sure, but it might have been very well. Okay, well, you can hit me with the anti-air all you want. But eventually I will get in Quan Chi, and when I do, you will feel the justice of the fan. You know, this series is kind of just showing how much self-worth I, self I have when it comes to fighting games, because like... I just, I constantly get dicked on by the, the fucking AI. Last episode, I even lost to the AI once, and yet I'm still doing this series without, w without even knowing if it's popular or not as well. It's, I'm in a very precarious spot with this game, and by God, when people see this gameplay, they're going to be fuming, and I really just had a perfect fatality opportunity and just forgot, didn't I? Well, actually, do you know what? That's a good thing, because if we fatality, this guy is really fitting. Raise the roof, Goro! I don't think that helped at all, but let's just pretend it did, because it was hype as shit. He put me in the corner twice, and he did not capitalize off of it. That's how you know that this guy's not real, because Xiao players, yeah, they fucked me up in the corner. Okay, uh, well... I amplified the move expecting that like maybe they'd both catch him in the crossfires, but no, they just both left behind. And yeah, I'm just fucking tossing shit and it's it's not helping at all. This is a little unfortunate. And of course they're flawless blocking. Why wouldn't they? Oh my god, I'm actually about to fucking lose. Please. Thank god. Alright, no. It's time. Let's show that us getting our ass kicked right there was not for nothing. Katana, show them what's well. Show them, the, show them all your worth. Do you know what? That's the fatality that's used for her, and I think every game to a degree. But do you know what? If it if it works, it works. I don't really have any complaints, I guess. But yeah, Johnny. You're getting out-gamed right now, dude. Well, well, I was gonna ask what you had to say for yourself, but... You did try and get out of the corner. You failed, but, I mean, maybe a lot of people would fail against Katana, so I can't really judge you for it. Do, can that- can that move even hit? Do I literally have to be, like, max, max screen away? Like, not even just, like, a little bit? That's- that's upsetting. Alright, this should be good. Never mind. I'm, I'm hitting one. I'm hitting one. There we go. And the world just clapped along with joy. The world turned upside down and I could not be happier. And yeah, you got full star. Get get that shit out of here. You are not, you're not going to nut punch me five times in a row and call it a day. Also, I simped for Shang Tsung, so I guess I got to give the other characters their due diligence. By God, has anybody ever looked so good murdering somebody? This series is absolutely going to convince people that I am gay, because just fucking, I, w I literally dedicated an whole, a whole episode to Shang Tsung talking about how good he looks. I guess not a whole episode, but half of an episode talking about how good Shang Tsung looks. And then I get to Katana section, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, she looks pretty, she looks pretty nice. I really need to stop focusing on that. Yeah, this Shang Tsung addiction is just not healthy because it's it's stopping me from winning matches. It's actively interfering with my game plan, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I gave like barely any attention to Katana when she is like one of the finest characters in this game. And I don't know. It, it is a little it is a little sus behavior, I suppose, if I want to claim that I'm straight, but I don't know, man. I think this being straight is like, it's not really that 
fun, I guess, to talk about, like, the female characters. is Like, yeah, I think the female character's hot, what of it? I don't know, I just don't think there's as much comedy there. I don't know. At that point, it just feels like me simping over a video game character, but, like, in a not funny way, in a just kind of a sad way. And I don't want to do that, so, yeah, I'll talk about Shang Tsung as much as possible. And speaking of Shang Tsung... <laughs> okay, I swear I'm done now. Okay, what did, Okay, that's what he did. I was about to say, what did Goro just do? Because it didn't look like he did anything of note, but no, he, he proved his worth and stomped on him for me. He, he stomped on Shang Tsung. God fucking damn it, why can I not stop with this? This is a this is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. I need this fix. I need the solution. I need to stop making gay jokes about Shang Tsung. It's getting a very unhealthy and very disturbing at this point. Anyways, uh, that's round one. All right, the final round of the video, uh, presumably at least. Let's see what we can bring out, and then let's see Katana's story because. I'm excited to see it. I don't. I think Katana really just got the shaft in the story mode this game, so I'm really excited to see what she's all about in this game, I guess, or like what she is all about in general, and kind of get some idea as to how she's going to be expanded in the story next game, or at least integrated into the story next game, because I'm excited. I'm just excited to see it. It's time. So she's like a military leader. That's not what I expected, but that's cool. They didn't mention Reiko escaping. They didn't mention Reiko escaping, and he looks, he does not look like he's in a running position. Oh, Reiko might die there. That's an actual possibility. I was picking up on it. If, if they kill Reiko, I want everybody to fucking source this video because I was right. But no, I like that. I feel like that's a, a good character arc for Katana. I feel like it's very believable that people would not really trust her given her just past in the royal family. So, I, I, I understand why they would not trust her leadership. I don't agree with them not trusting her leadership because obvious reasons, but also I can see why that world did not trust her. Especially since she wasn't really developed in this game as much as a lot of other characters, so. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was an interesting playing into it. I don't think it was like really playing into it, but I think the fact that she didn't get as much kind of, I guess, characterization in this game besides her otherworldly counterpart, her Titan Katana version, you know, when she macked it up with Liu Kang. Other than that, I don't think she really had too much exposure, so I'm excited to see this military leader Katana. I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm excited to see that battle because I'm speculating now, I think Reiko might die there because it looked like it, or at the very least he gets captured in that battle because he was not in a running position. And I like how that kind of intertwined with Shaol's, with Shaol's um, ending. And again, just leave me excited for what's next. But when I say that, I mean the next game. But let's talk about something a little bit closer. Next episode, perhaps? And if you want a little bit of a spoiler, we got Baraka and Ashra. An odd pairing, I, I get that. Uh, but, you know, just, just hear me out. There, there is some sense made in it that I'll expand upon later. Just uh, trust me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.